Since we had the Great East Japan earthquake, I understand the sentiment to use clean energy and not nuclear energy. Recently, I went to Germany. Germany does not have nuclear energy. Reduction of energy consumption is their national policy. I saw wind power generators, but hardly any solar energy generators or other significant types of power generators. Currently, Germany buys electricity from France, which uses nuclear energy. By doing so, the cost of energy is higher. It is obvious to focus on the reduction of energy consumption. Ms. Merkel continues this stingy movement direction. So nuclear energy is abandoned intentionally at this point. When we think about the future, I wonder if making decisions emotionally is valid or not. I have never received any opposition on using nuclear energy from the high spirits in heaven. The nuclear energy itself is neither good nor bad. If it brings a plus, it is good. If it continually causes much damage, then it is bad. So it's neutral in and of itself. However, within 10 to 20 years, we will enter the era of maglev trains. A maglev train requires 10 times more electrical energy compared to the bullet train system. The maglev will surely come. Requiring 10 times more electrical energy means not enough electricity can be produced by using only thermal power generation by oil and coal, or hydroelectric power by dam. So I think it is better to keep the option. I agree it was a big problem to lose the lives of almost 20,000 people in eastern Japan. However, I think we need to recognize again those who lost their lives were killed by the tsunami and not by the nuclear accident. I see nowadays without using real money, instead Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies are used in computers. It is said to be a big chance to make money. If you invest 100 million yen, it can become 1 billion yen. This phenomenon is similar to the past stock speculation and real estate speculation. Next door, China has entered a cashless economy. They do not carry cash. A movement to follow this trend is in Japan. I think the depression surely will occur in the near future, triggered by bursting the bubble of cryptocurrencies. So I advise not to get in on it, carelessly, even though newspapers and television are discussing about it. Regarding electronic money, some smart foreign groups could withdraw it. Or the possibility cannot be ignored that the wealth stored in e-money could virtually disappear during a blackout caused by the likes of the recent earthquake. Or an electromagnetic pulse attack instead of actual bullets is being considered in the military. Or weapons to interfere with the functioning of satellites, a fort or a building that uses electricity is also being considered. So virtual wealth could be lost at any time. Considering the future, I think this can be a cause for an economic depression. I recommend to keep a credit economy with real things. Spend money on what has real value. Make an effort to hold on to things that have actual value. Cannot be trusted even if it multiplies ten times more. Clever people think of ways that can make money just like in the Lehman Brothers shock of 2008. After they make the money and it disappears, the remaining debt has to be dealt with. 
So be careful. I think when everyone started to talk about this, it reached a danger zone. I'd like to warn about this. On another point, I think there is a problem with computers. Computer companies make money with their products. Those who work at them, please ignore what I say. It is a good thing that you can earn salaries. For those who are not in the computer business, I want you to be careful and not be so easily deceived. It is very difficult to reach the level of human-level work by only using computers. Most of the time, the products are in the process of a trial stage of development. New products develop continuously, but many of them are a waste of money, energy, and time. Computers cannot make decisions about managing a business, nor make sales. Most of the time, computers are brought in for cost-cutting or cutting expenses. A most produce waste paper. This may not apply to large companies which have a big budget. But I would really want small business workers to know this can be the cause of a business failure for their company. Looking at tables and graphs on the computer will not bring more sales. It will not go up. Many employees create tables and many employees read them. This will not increase revenue. Many times the essential point is lost. It is better to know that reality is not so. Business management and sales achievements are not related to computers. It belongs to problems of human-to-human -human relations. So if you neglect this point, the company will surely fail. There are many tools that are aggressively marketed. Companies sell tools to make a profit. That is good. But the company which buys the tools not only loses the expense of the tools, but also often the business management becomes unsound. I would like you to be careful. Computers cannot point out the problems and solve them. It is humans who can do that. It's not so useful to look at the tables and graphs created by computer programmers who don't understand how to manage a business. So you need to look at the facts. See through the problem and solve it, otherwise the business will not move forward. Understand what the real problems are. To do so, top management needs to know the problems of customers or actual situations, then solve them. Also, sales employees need to meet customers directly and negotiate with them. Looking at tables and graphs only will not bring about solutions. Please know this. In the personal computer era, it is not clear what kind of work is being done, since it looks like working if you open a computer on the desk. It is true that computers are partly useful. There are merits for calculations, repeated tasks, and creating good quality printings and so on. But I am concerned that it brings along non-essential jobs, in which many might work on instead of working on the task that should be done. Many people who are not good at human relationships and who tend to work only on computers are being produced nowadays. And this causes failures in many companies. You need to be aware of this.